Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about, standard size of lintel beam and its types. Lintel. A very important part of your home structure that not many homeowners know or think about. In this video, we will learn what a lintel's true purpose is and what your responsibility is as a homeowner to ensure your lintels are kept in good condition. What is a lintel beam? A lintel beam is a horizontal member which rests on the door or window opening to support the portion of the structure above it. Besides, the function of a lintel is the same as a beam, it transfers the structure load to its supports. Purposes of Lintel Beam There are the following purposes of lintel beam such as These beams are used to support the walls above the openings like windows and doors, etc. As Asafi guard of the windows and doors, these beams are provided. These beams are provided to withstand the imposed loads coming from above blocks or bricks. It is provided to transfer its load to the side walls. Sometimes as decorative architectural element lintels are used. Types of lintel beam There are the following types of lintel beam as given below. Timber or wood lintel Stone lintel Brick lintel Steel lintel Reinforced concrete lintel and reinforced brick lintel Wooden lintel The wood lintel is the oldest type of lintel, currently, this is not used in construction. In abroad, the wood pieces have been used as a lintel for home because most of the houses build up with wood material. A single piece of wood can be used as a lintel or group of wooden parts that can be used by the bolted joint. Specification A bearing of 150 mm to 200 mm should be provided, and it should be placed on the mortar. The width of the lintel could be equal to the thickness of opening and depth in the range between L-12 to L-8 of the span. Minimum width of 80 mm should be provided. The wood lintels are easily destroyed by fire and decay. There are some disadvantages of timer or wood lintel such as It is vulnerable to fire and also less durable. Timber lintels tend to be structurally weak and timber is obligated to rot without appropriate ventilation. Stone lintel Stone lintels are used across the opening because of material availability. The stone lintels are widely used in construction because of its good compressive strength. This type of lintel beam is mainly used in such areas where the stone is plentifully accessible and thicknesses of these are the most important factor of its design and also provided over the openings in brick walls. Specification If the stone is used as a lintel, then relieving arches should be provided since the rocks have low tensile resistance. 
A single stone piece can be used as a lintel. In the form of either one single piece or more than one piece, the stone lintel is provided and the thickness is taken as 4 cm per 30 cm length of span and the minimum thickness should be 8 cm as a thumb rule. The width of the lintel should be equal to the thickness of the opening. The depth of the stone lintel should be in the range of one-tenth to the length of the opening. Due to the non-availability of other materials for their construction, they are mostly used in mountainous buildings as they weigh too much. These lintels have some problems such as they are not used in buildings where vibratory loads are subjected to the structure due to their weak tensile nature. Its transportation is a very complex task and is difficult to deploy them in cities. Not able to withstand excessive transverse stress. Brick Lintel Technically the brick lintel will not have excellent resistance against the compressive load. So that these types of lintel could be used when the opening length does not exceed 1 m. The minimum depth of the brick lintel should be 20 cm, and as usual, width is to be equal to the thickness opening. Depending upon the span their depth varies from 10 cm to 20 cm and at end joints, bricks with frogs filled with mortar give more shear resistance. Steel Lintel The steel lintel contains steel angles or rolled joists. The steel lintels are used when the load is heavy or the length of the opening is considerable. Tube separators are provided to keep the joists in position. The steel joists are embedded in concrete to protect the steel from corrosion and fire. The steel joist is either embedded in concrete or cladded with stone facing to keep the width the same as the width of the wall when used as one single section while they are kept in position by tube separators when more than one unit is placed side by side. There are many advantages of steel lintels such as Without the need to change or strengthen steel lintels can be utilized to help heavier loads over more prominent separations. To rust, erosion, or distorting these lintels are impervious. These lintels are less labor-intensive and more practical. RCC Lintel now, the RCC lintel replaced all other materials for lintel because they are fireproof, durable, reliable, and easy to build. An excellent advantage of RCC lintel is, it can be placed either precast or cast in situ. Reinforced Concrete Lintel in reinforced concrete lintel, reinforcement is used to overcome the low workable issue in concrete and these lintels are most commonly used. Precast lintels are used up to the span length is 2 m, if the opening length exceeds 2 m then the lintel would be constructed by the cast in situ method. Specification The M15, 1 colon 2 colon 4, 
Concrete grade is usually used for lintel concrete. RCC lintels can increase the construction activity because sunshade can easily project from RCC lintels. The depth and reinforcement depend upon the span of opening. For heavy loads and larger spans, they are suitable and for every meter, their thickness is kept around up to 8 cm and can be precast or cast in situ. To resist the tensile stress, main reinforcement bars are used at the bottom, and at the ends, half of these bars are cranked. There are many advantages of this type of lintel beam such as These lintels are strong, rigid, and durable. It has fire-resisting properties. They are easy in construction and are economical. Reinforced Brick Lintel when loads are heavy and span is greater than 1 these lintels are used and depth should be equal to 10 cm or 15 cm. As reinforcement, the bricks are so arranged that 2 cm to 3 cm wide space is left lengthwise between adjacent bricks for the insertion of mild steel bars. Cement mortar is used to fill up the gaps and in every third vertical joint, vertical stirrups of 6 mm diameter are provided and the main reinforcement is provided at the bottom. Advantages of Lintel Beam There are the following advantages of these beams such as they are easy to build and look simpler. They are not required to be constructed so firmly because over the ending supports of lintels the excessive load is not applied. Frameworks are inexpensive and centering of the lintel is easy. If the load is coming uniformly, they can bear a high amount of load. They look simple and are delicate. Standard lintel size for door opening and reinforcement details. Example calculation of lintel beam size. Assume that you need to construct a lintel beam for a doer opening of 1 meter length opening length 1 m, bearing 200 mm at both ends so length of lintel beam L equals 1 plus 0. 2 plus 0 0.2 equals 1.4 m depth equals 1.4 slash 20 plus 1 equals 66 mm l equals effective span including bearing l equals length of opening b equals breadth of wall minimum bearing equals 200 mm at both ends depth of lintel equals l slash 20 plus modification factor Modification factor as per is 456. Modification factor value is used to check the deflection of slab or beam. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.